and you'll hear the word used quite often, legacy. We all owe a debt to Senator Birch by because his is a living legacy that remains in all of us. His legacy lives on through the dedication of public service that he has passed on to this noble Hoosier family. A legacy personified by his son Evan, a legacy now personified by his grandsons, Nick and Bo. And as a final matter, as the father of a young girl, 14 years old, who is involved in, well, I think 300 sports, I feel I just have to offer my own personal thanks and gratitude for the Senator because of the living legacy that is personified in each one of our sisters, our daughters, and our grandmothers. In reviewing Birch's General Assembly work, what emerges is the beginning of his legacy as one of the most brilliant and naturally gifted politicians our state has ever seen. And I second that. And he closed with the following. Our state and nation owed much to the late Senator. He, in turn, owed much to the Indiana General Assembly that helped turn a Vigo County farm boy into a modern-day founding father.